How's it going everyone? We are really coming up to the end of the year and if you guys don't know, well, generally speaking, once you get to the latter portion of December and uh, this time of the year, the game releases really start to taper off from a weekly standpoint as we do gear up for early 2022 and that's where the heavy hitters are going to drop, but I still want to give attention to some of the new games that are dropping this week because there's definitely some stuff of note that I want to go over, so let's get into it. We got 10 games to go over over and starting things off we have Eterna Noctis. Now, this is a game that I've definitely seen a few people talk about in my comment section, and I'm surprised that the game does actually have a little bit of buzz surrounding it, but thankfully so, because the game does look quite good. It's noted to be a challenging 2D hand-drawn action platformer, a Metroidvania with thrilling combat that'll keep you on the edge of your seat, and heart-stopping platform sections that will put your skills to the test. Become the king of darkness in an epic journey through 16 connected areas, I do have to say from a visual standpoint. Definitely does stand out on that end gameplay looks pretty good and if you're into metroidvania might be something that is going to be right up your alley it does also note it features a challenging difficulty system that skills progressively as you the player go through the game and get more experience with the controls and unlock new skill fluid gameplay mechanics high mobility deep beautiful plot traditional 2d art freedom of choice and more than 40 music tracks to go with the soundtrack so that's nice to see as well eterna noctis is scheduled for a release on december the 15th next up we have a shoot -em up that is making the transition from pc onto playstation Station, and that is Blackbird. Now, this game actually came out on PC back in October of 2018, quite a while ago. Has 69 Steam user reviews, and 94% of those reviews are actually positive, so pretty solid reception here. The game notes become the Blackbird in this dark fantasy shooting game with an operatic twist. This is the tale of a young girl who dies a pitiful death, but is reborn as the calamitous Blackbird, whose destiny is to destroy the kingdom. From a shoot 'em up standpoint, it looks like a pretty well crafted one, and definitely has a dark. Uh, visual style to accompany it. The game notes what fate awaits this girl turned bird. Will you, the black bird, destroy the world? Or will this lively, fun-filled kingdom threat the path to destruction? Now it's a darkly humorous world built with loving care, pixel by pixel. A unique audio-visual mix con uh, combined in an action-packed shooting game. Eight different endings and extra features galore. Making the transition to a PlayStation this week, it is $19.99, but it'll be out tomorrow on PlayStation. Next up, we have a Moon Remix RPG Adventure. Yes, this is a bit of a throwback and it's finally dropping. Don't be a hero, experience the love, experience Moon. Moon is an anti-RPG steeped in story and character, mood, and music. Definitely an old school RPG here. Uh, one moonlit night, a young boy is sucked into the depths of his television set. He falls into a place called Moon World and thus begins a search for love in order to recover the lost moonlight. Definitely not something for people that are looking for a super modern game with a great, uh, you know, great tech. Uh, the game's not a technical blow away, that's not what it is, but it's a throwback RPG that I think some people will find a lot of enjoyment out of. Moon Remix RPG Adventure drops this week. Next up, another bit of a throwback, this one a little bit more modernized, and that's Asteroids Recharged. Yes, Asteroids is back. How long can you survive the depths of space in this fresh revival of the classic arcade shooter, all while grooving to an original score by Megan McDuffie, pilot solo, or recruit a friend for local co-op across 30 unique challenges or the endless arcade? mode. Another shoot -em up here. Obviously, Asteroids is one that a lot of people are super nostalgic with. This one's got a lot of flashy visuals, and I, while it's definitely hearkening back to Asteroids, and if you are a fan back in the day, you're, this is going to be right up your alley at the same time for a 2021 audience. I think visually, it's super stylistic, while also retaining that simplistic look that Asteroids has been known for. The game notes old meets new, classic Asteroid, uh, Asteroids gameplay updated with refined control and modern visual flourishes, power up, blast ping UFOs to pick up deadly benefits like an explosives or asteroids or a black hole shot that sucks in all enemies in its radius challenge complete uh, compete in a series of 30 challenges designed to put even the most seasoned players to test compete reach the top of the global re leaderboards for arcade and individual challenge modes and again you've got cooperative play in there as well if you want to take advantage of that asteroids is scheduled for a release on december 14th next up a very, very notable title coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. It is Among Us. Of course, Among Us took the world by storm when it dropped on PC and mobile platforms. Now it finally comes to PS4, PS5, X1, Xbox Series X. If you guys don't know what Among Us is about, you must be living under a rock at this point. Obviously, it's a social deduction multiplayer title. You can have a lot of fun with it. I mean, it's Among Us. Like, at this point, I think most of you guys know what 
to expect here. And it's just nice that it's going to be available in a plethora of different platforms. A game that's definitely enjoyable if you have a group of friends to play with. Um, you know, you can have some fun with it. So, yeah, that's dropping tomorrow on major consoles. Next up, another game that's making the transition from PC to PS4 and Xbox One, Greek Memories of Azure. This is a game that I've had on my radar for a little while, and it's already available on PS5 and PC once again. Um, got a very positive reception on Steam, 304 user reviews, 80% uh, positive on that, and visual style here is also very, very good. A beautiful single-player puzzle platformer adventure. You'll take on the role of three siblings, Greek, Adara, and Radal, to guide them through the lands of Azure, alternate control between them, and use their unique abilities to escape from the Urlog invasion. Uh, if you're a fan of action-adventure platformers, this one's probably going to be right up your alley. Again, a great look to it as well. Uh, specially crafted puzzles with utilizing all three characters, unique gameplay, fast-paced combat, cinematic clips, and a live orchestra soundtrack. Greek Memories of Azure is making the transition to PS4 and Xbox One come tomorrow, December 14th. Next up, another very notable one, Final Fantasy VII Remake is making the transition to PC. Yes, it is finally coming out on a PC. This has been a long time coming, and uh, it is going to be exclusive to the Epic Game Store, and it is a full $70 for the uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission uh, DLC is included in there. It's the integrated version that was released on PlayStation 5. I just think $70 is a bit pricey for that, man. I said $70 was pricey with the PS5 release, and now you're talking about six months after that fact and still being $70 that's a steep steep price to pay for a game that did initially come out back in March of uh, 2020 at the very least you could get the PlayStation 4 version standalone and it does upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version but in this case you're gonna have to buy the PC version look I love Final Fantasy 7 remake and it's great to see it on more platforms it's a game that I think everybody should play but the price tag for this one is definitely a little bit steep. I'm sure the game's going to look really, really good on higher-end PCs, and uh, obviously it's a visual spectacle as it is on PS4 and PlayStation 5. It'll be nice to have it on PC. An Epic Game Store exclusive, I would imagine that it's going to be like a one-year timed exclusive and then ultimately come to Steam as well. But uh, EGS and Square Enix have been doing these deals quite often. They did it with Neo, The World Ends With You. I believe they're doing it with Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origins, and now Final Fantasy VII Remake is the latest one. This one came together really quickly because Final Fantasy VII Remake just got announced for PC and it's out in two days come Thursday, December 16th. Three days, actually. Can't do my math correctly, but nevertheless, it'll be out later this week. Next up, we have Bridge Constructor The Walking Dead making its PlayStation 5 transition. Bridge Constructor The Walking Dead combines the legendary and challenging puzzle gameplay of Bridge Constructor with the post-apocalyptic zombie universe of AMC's The Walking Dead. I probably got into the game so late in the sense that Walking Dead isn't a show that I checked out until, like, a year ago when the pandemic started and uh, I was just like man let me watch some Walking Dead and I got super into the show like I'd watched bits and pieces in the past but uh yeah I sat down and got super into Walking Dead last year um early last year but now we have Bridge Constructor The Walking Dead coming to PlayStation. This had a very positive reception on PC. Only 65 reviews, but 84% of those were positive. And again, it'll be coming to PlayStation 5 later this week. And lastly, we have Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is the latest installment of the family-friendly horror games loved by millions of players from all over the globe. Play as Gregory, a young boy trapped overnight in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex with the help of Freddy Fazbear himself. Gregory must survive the near-unstoppable hunt of reimagined Five Nights at Freddy's characters as well as new horrific threats. The Hunters and the Hunted adapt to survive, explore, and discover are noted. This one is due out December 16th. Obviously, Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the more notable IPs out there as from a horror standpoint, and nice to see another release come to PlayStation on December the 16th. And that's going to do it for me again this week. You know, you don't have a lot of big budget releases. I mean, FF7 Remake on PC is cool, but $70 is a little steep. Eterna Noctis, man, because of the light releases this week in terms of, you know, big budget titles, that game might get a little bit more attention than it normally would. So that might end up being good for it, and hopefully it does do pretty well. Moon Remix, RPG Adventure, Asteroids Recharge looks pretty cool. So there's some stuff to definitely have your eyes on, but definitely a lighter week as we do head into the new year. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.